How many times can you reinvent the look of a basic round watch? I've drawn comparisons before to the music industry. How is it that not every song has been written when we're basically working with the same set of chords? Somehow, every year, several songs are released by new or existing bands that will be remembered for years to come. Similarly, there will be loads of other work released that will fail to make an impression on anyone and slowly fade away and be forgotten forever. Usually for the best. I had the pleasure of reviewing a prototype today from a brand called Ikigai, and it's one of the more exciting microbrand watches I've seen for a while. I genuinely think that this is another hit, rather than yet another forgettable piece that nobody will buy. Oscar Tan is the brains behind the Ikigai Maru, it's not his first rodeo, and it's quite upfront about a failed Kickstarter launch in the past. But rather than letting that kill his passion for creating something fun and interesting, he regrouped and come October 18th, you'll have the ability to back his new Kickstarter campaign at an early bird launch price of 389 US dollars. If you hear the word Kickstarter and screw up your nose immediately, I don't blame you, but keep in mind that some of our favorite microbrands had their starts on the platform. After all, what Kickstarter is all about is bringing fun and unusual designs to life, and so long as you believe in their creator and their aim, you get to own a truly unique piece. So let me present the Maru today on my channel, and I hope you come along for the ride. This is a hobby for me, but I put a lot of time and effort into my work, so if you like what I do, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe, since it keeps me going. Drop me a comment too if you like. Typically when I receive a prototype, it arrives in bubble wrap since the packaging is yet to be created. Not this time. I was surprised to see a lovely box, a great quality card with a design that incorporates the inspiration behind the design, an environmentally friendly bamboo material for both the box and warranty card. Bamboo grows so fast that it's one of the best materials you can use to support our planet, and having a card made up from it is a lovely touch. Overall, the presentation is very impressive before even getting to the watch. And if this is the sort of attention to detail we can expect even at a prototype stage, we're in safe hands. Moving on to the watch itself, I'm going to try to hold your attention for as long as possible before we get stuck into this unbelievable loom. This is a prototype and there are plenty of things that are needing improvements. I've been chatting to Oscar about this for a while and he's aware of all the points. Size-wise, we're looking at the perfect ratio of 40mm in diameter, 46.5mm lug to lug, a height of 12mm and a lug width of 20mm. So let's address the dial first. I have the blue model here obviously and I love the restrained approach with nothing than the attractive paper crane logo under the 12 position, the model name and water resistance above the 6 and other than that just a deep blue ocean to get lost in. The hands are something of a cross between sword and cathedral hands, and despite being quite intricate, do not impair legibility. One small issue I raise immediately is that the space for loom is a little restricted due to this very detailed design, and whilst it's still good overall, when you have a watch that lights up like a Tron movie prop in the dark, it is noticeable. However, the hands will be wider than another 0.5mm, so both legibility and loom will be fixed on the final model. The indices are all applied steel bars, recessed into the also applied mini track circle. This is a clever way to mix up different types of loom, since the mini track is basically one large piece with what appears to be layer upon layer of loom that glows blue in the dark and has a strong white color in the daylight. On this prototype, there are some very small misalignments and slight imperfections on the indices on the macro, but these are all issues that should be solved in the QC for the final pieces. And I can honestly say that you cannot see this anyway on your wrist. I hope you agree with me here that the bezel design complements the minute track just beautifully. Similarly, with generous applications of loom, it also offers an attractive design with a 0 to 60 minutes contained within white blocks, separated by 2 minute indicators. Perhaps it's just me, but it reminds me a lot of the Olegan Weiss Ocean Graph, 
which I've always liked the look of, but never loved the thickness of that piece. Within the bezel we have sapphire glass with inner AR coating, which is good enough in my daily wear. Using the bezel, it flexes sideways and back place. Doesn't line up properly, it's a little loose, and whilst I like the safe light ticking noise, it's not consistent in feel for a full 180 degrees turn. But these are all known issues that will be fixed for production. Moving on to the distinct design of the case, I need to mention the inspiration. Maru means circle and was often used on Japanese ships, symbolizing a safe return trip. The first ship known to use Maru in its name had a similar grid pattern on the side. Be that as it may, what I appreciate is that it looks attractive to me in an again very Tron-like light cycle fashion during the day and frankly insanely cool at night. Coming soon, thanks for your patience. The inner edges here on the sides are very sharp, which I've drawn Oscar's attention to. Adjusting the sign crown can scratch skin here, but this will also be fixed on the final model. The back of the watch will show you exactly the inspiration behind the design, and it's an attractive case back to me. It hides the Miyota 9039, which if you watch any of my microbrand owner interviews, seems to be the most reliable of all reasonably priced movements, and it's also very slim. Its minus 10 to plus 30 second stator tolerances are often much better in real life, so this is a solid choice. The bracelet has individual H-links with a pin and collar system. Oscar is looking for feedback on if this should be changed to screw links, which I'm pretty sure Kickstarter backers will offer up. But if you have an opinion, put it in the comments. The buckle is push pin release, has four micro adjusts, which is plenty in my opinion, and signed with the logo. Overall it's attractive and I like it. One small issue is that the end links, which are female here by the way and should mean easy fit on all wrist sizes, do stick out a little from the case. It is nitpicking since at least the end links are flush with the upper side of the lugs and case, but perhaps another small point that could be looked at. So dear viewer, here it is, the stunning loom. I've already talked about it enough, so let's just enjoy this Neo Tokyo feel. The Ikigamaru is as exciting to me as the Namika watch that did so well on Kickstarter. So I really hope that it's nothing but a success for Oscar. That said, it's obviously important that the nitpicks here and there are fixed for production. But having a founder that's fully aware of what needs to be sorted out and preempts all your feedback as a reviewer is a very good sign. Kickstarter is full of successful brand releases such as RZE, Durenza watches, Second Hour, Boulder, Baltic watches, the list goes on. Much like any shopping online, it can be hard to deduce quality from garbage. And perhaps you're watching this very review to help you with that. If that is the case, then I hope that I've helped you make your mind up. There are of course no guarantees when backing any small business at the launch stage. But again, this is a concept that deserves your love. And I hope that you will join me in supporting Ikigai's first watch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.